Out in the countryside, the work continues. There are thousands of different kinds of bees, but only one kind that produces honey. The honeybee can smell with her antennae. And she can taste with the tip of her proboscis. Not to mention each foot, which can taste what it touches. A forager can visit flowers up to six miles away from the hive. For us, that would equal a trip of 800 miles. It's now 16 days since the old queen left the hive. Time for a new queen to emerge from the royal apartments to replace her. The firstborn stakes her claim to be ruler with a piping call. But that's not enough to win the throne. She will also have to fight up to a dozen royal sisters. One possible rival is stung to death through the wall of the brood cell before she can get out. At the same time, another is trying to free herself from her cell. The firstborn queen must now act quickly if she wants to remain in power. She heads for the brood cell of the second rival. As soon as the rival is free, the challenge is taken up. She stakes her own claim with an aggressive call. battle for the colony begins. The larger, longer queens are in the center, surrounded by workers. Each queen tries to sting the other to death, striking as close as possible to the sensitive abdomen. But this time, quite unexpectedly, the battle ends in a draw. The stalemate has dramatic consequences. A hive can only have one queen. So the colony must divide yet again. The departing swarm is on a risky mission. The newborn queen that leads it is a virgin and cannot guarantee the new colony's continued existence. Thousands of workers follow her nonetheless, drawn inexorably by her scent. A 
A precipitous flight from the hive can have strange consequences. If the scout bees have no opportunity to find a suitable home, they may stumble into a dangerous neighborhood, infested by humans and their infernal machines. The swarm seeks a temporary resting place. For bees, home is where the queen is. Lighting on a live overhead tram wire shows a definite lack of planning. It could be deadly for the swarm. But for passers-by, it's just a diversion. Swarming bees have no possessions to protect and so seldom sting. Although they do tend to bring the town to a standstill. the fire department comes to the rescue. The firemen have brought with them some expert help on call for just this kind of emergency. But it's not clear how the beekeepers can get the bewildered colony under control. As one would expect of firemen, the beekeepers have brought along their own hoses. The cold water has the effect of calming the bees, at least temporarily. At first, the bees seem to tolerate being shaken into the box. But then they begin to rebel, led by their queen, who has been protected from the effects of the water by a layer of loyal followers. The swarm, with the queen in its midst, rises from the box and continues its journey to a new, unknown destination. The scouts search for a suitable site for a hive in the nearby woods. The rotted stump of an old tree seems ideal. A fixer-upper, to be sure, but one with undeniable charm. Usual inspections are cautious at first, then progressively more confident. So far, so good. It's empty, it's dry, and it's big enough for the colony. Who could ask for more?